items, and uh, we can easily make this responsive navigation menu. To do that, we're going to have to wrap all of our navigation content with an outer div, and it's going to have a class of we'll put it right here. nav collapse and collapse I'm going to cut this closing tag and put it under my last unordered list now the nav collapse uh, will make our menu responsive and the collapse class will make sure that it's closed uh, by default. One more thing we're going to need is a, um, a button for when our menu is uh, collapsed, responsive collect, collapsed uh, state. Well, we won't need this, but we will need a class of button, button dash nav bar, so it stays within that theme. We're also going to need another data toggle attribute, and we're going to use the collapse plugin. And a data target, and it's going to be our nav collapse. Now this data target means it's going to target this entire div right here and everything within it. If I were to spell this wrong or to name it something else, it's not going to work uh, when we call that function by pushing the button. Um, I'm also going to use a span class icon bar. This is also a bootstrap class. It's going to create a nice little menu button uh, for our toggle. Uh, we're going to use three of them. Gonna save, switch back over to our browser and hit refresh. And then let's go ahead and minimize it down to a uh, mobile size window. And as you can see in tablet, it's already changed. I'm going down to mobile. When we click on that, we have our main navigation in responsive nature and also our drop down is going to be responsive it maintains the hover state but we all know that for mobile platform it doesn't really matter same set for a tablet it's about 768 it's close enough and as you can see it still works so pretty powerful stuff we can do just by adding a few classes and uh, data attributes to our navigation menu. In our next video, we're going to start on our main content, and we're going to do our sidebar. So uh, see you then.